Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Ooh, confirmation on something. Double sneeze? Hmm. Maybe we'll see what that's all about. Mm, I'm hearing the phrase from spirit, wake up call. Yeah. Let's find out. Power number four. Number 12 and number three. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're going to the number 19. 19 in tarot is the sun card. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. Others of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. However, the number 12 can also represent the sign of Pisces. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. Others of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. You could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Strong Scorpio and Sagittarius energy coming in through the number 11 as well as sign of Libra, our astrological next door neighbor. Strong Sagittarius energy coming in again through the number 14. More Scorpio energy through the number 13 as well. Picking up on Gemini and also Virgo energy along with Aries energy again through the number one. So, power number 19. Let's see what's going on. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, from Scorpio's person unto them? Show me what's up. Mmm. They're wanting to reunite with you and or possibly ask you out on a date. Mm -hmm. Yep. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And yes, the Three of Cups can also represent a third party situation. Page of Coins, they're going to reach out. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They want to give you a token, a gift, a love offer, some form of a gesture. Mm -hmm. They could also be breadcrumbing the third party right now, not paying them too much attention. Also, too, I'm picking up more of a negative situation off of this third party. This third party is also into drugs. Mm. Four of Swords. Something's going to get laid to rest here. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. They're in some contemplation about you, Scorpio, or they want to take a rest or a retreat, or they're trying to get away from the karmic, okay? Trying to find that inner courage and strength to come forward to be able to reach out to you. You could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Again, for some of you.
Show me what is going on with Scorpio's person in their environment. Mm. Somebody feels stuck, trapped, smothered, and or your person, for a very small percentage of you guys, your person could literally be in jail or they're waiting to get out of jail. However, in regards to a third party, some of them better be careful. Somebody could end up getting a DUI, so don't drink and drive if at all, at all costs. The pathway, they're trying to get on the path of least resistance. They're ready for some kind of a change or a transformation because I'm also looking at the butterflies that are in this pathway. Okay. They're trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel in regards to their situation and how to get out of it. Yeah, they're ready to put something to rest here. Scorpio energy coming in through the coffin card. Mm-hmm. They could have also recently lost a loved one, okay? They could be on the verge of losing maybe a parent, um, grandparent, maybe an aunt, an uncle. But as far as third party, they're done with them. Yep, I just heard a, a car honk outside. They're done with them. They, they're, they're tired of feeling... Some of your, your partner, Scorpio, this karmic follows them, spies in on them, makes them feel smothered, okay? This third party does not trust your person for whatever reason. They really don't. Probably because your person is a very good-looking guy or a very good-looking woman, okay? This person does not trust. They don't trust your person. And it feels to me that your person is also on some kind of burnout from the karmic, okay? So to me, it's like they're wanting to escape as soon as they can and get out of this. They're just done. They, they're ready. They're done. They're over with. They just, they can't deal with it anymore. I feel like there's a little bit of anxiety that could be going on. So they could also be trying to retreat trying to retreat with a best friend or whatever just to go clear their headspace, okay? <laughs> I hid who I really am from you. That, I feel, is the karmic to your person. However, they were also hiding their true intentions. They were hiding their emotions from you. It was just easier to get distracted with this little group of people and this little group of people and their guy, their bromances, their girlfriends, all of this, okay? I want to feel that way again. So they're reminiscing on the fact of how you made them feel. See, they're not getting, they're not getting what they need out of this connection with the karmic. Yeah. This is coming up again. They're bound and determined to be back with you, Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. So. There is so much that we can learn from each other, expanding. See, in the past, they weren't willing to go the distance in order to grow the relationship. Okay, so in my opinion, they were staying very neutral. Yeah, you're incredibly alluring to me. So they're still heavily attracted to you, Scorpio. Like they, they're they're thinking about your physical body, the way you look, the way you dress, the way you did your hair, all of that. I can't help but be interested in everything that you do. So listen, this person was in so much denial. You got two red roses out of three. Okay. So This karmic does not captivate them. 
they feel you're the more alluring person because you are very meticulous on how you present yourself, Scorpio. So taking care of yourself, okay? So like I said, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you do your makeup, your hair, your clothes, all of that, just how you overall present yourself. Mm hmm Yeah. Their feelings are running deep. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Romantic feelings. See, they still get that. See, this karmic doesn't do it for them anymore. Yeah. Spirit saying the karmic is a cheap thrill. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust in the process, okay? Spirit's warning them, and I've had this energy on them before. They need to start paying attention to the red flags. The signs have been cautioning them. Big time. This came up on them before. I fear you will never forgive me. So they've got to learn how to get past this fear, this insecurity. <laughs> because they know they messed up so bad, you guys. They did. They really, 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 truly did. And it haunts them. Yeah, I just heard a, a car honk outside. Boop, boop. Beep, beep. Yep. Confirmation. I hope to have a future with you one day. So I feel like they know... You were the path that they were supposed to take. I, exactly, spirits. Thank you. I sabotaged this connection and I regret it. They're in a lot of regret. Deep rooted regret. And I also feel too, because it's the Memorial Day holiday weekend that... Even if they're with a group of friends, they're only thinking about you. They're not thinking, their thoughts are wandering. Even if they're among other people right now. They're thinking about how they walked away. And they're also thinking about how the hell am I going to walk away from this karmic? They're keeping their eye on you in some way, shape, or form or trying to figure out like what's going on. Ace of Swords. They're ready to bring you in some kind of truth. The birds represent communication. They're mentally preparing themselves on what they have to say. They're just hoping they don't have to fight up against competition. Two of Swords. And I think they're also feeling, too, that the karmic isn't going to try to go up against you either, Scorpio. I think they're trying to avoid that. But they know that you are their fate and destiny, wheel of fortune. What goes around comes around. So, yeah, I mean, they've been getting their karma left and right. They're going to be coming in more solid. They're not going to be coming in as a page, okay? They're going to start off small, and then they're working their way up. King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got Aquarius, Lib um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio coming in again. They're ready for commitment with you. Yeah, see, they're going to be healing and mending a broken heart and going through a breakup. Mm -hmm. Coming back to you as a broken man or a broken woman. Why? Because, listen, keep your class, Scorpio. Keep your class. They find you alluring. 
Mm -hmm. Even if you're in your sweatpants and your hair is up in a bun and all whatever. Yeah. They still find you alluring. Like they're desiring you. They're thirsting for you. Because you're top notch. That's why. Okay. Got to keep seeing yourself as this. Top notch. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. If you like this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.